Well, good morning, you classy individuals. Uh, we're going to be doing day 97, April the 7th today, Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 1 through 32, verse 27, and Luke chapter 12, verse 8 through 34, Psalm chapter 78, verse 32 through 55, and Proverbs 12, verse 21 through 23. So they, they give us three uh, Proverbs today, so we get to be extra extra smart. Today I do want to look at uh, Luke chapter 12 and verse 22 through 31. You, you might recall this section. This section is a, very similar to the way Matthew chapter, I believe it's chapter 6. Don't, don't quote me on that. I didn't look. Um, but uh, Jesus is, is teaching this this concept about uh, being anxious. It is chapter 6, because uh, 633 is uh, similar to verse 31 that I want to emphasize today. But anyway, Luke chapter 12, verse 22 through 31, and we've got this. He said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, and what you will put on. For life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouses nor barns, yet God feeds them. How much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to your span of life? If then you are not able to do as small a thing as that, why are you anxious about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass, which is alive in the field today, and tomorrow is thrown in the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? And do not seek what you are to eat and what you are to drink, nor be worried. For all the nations of the world seek after these things. Your Father knows that you need them. Instead, seek His kingdom. And these things, they'll be added to you. I actually, I, 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 like, uh, I like this section. I prefer this to the uh, rendition in Matthew. Um, it, it seems to have just a little bit more emphasis to me. It's the same thing, just said slightly differently. Um, but isn't it amazing how God takes care of us? There, there have been times where I've been so worried about things, um, so anxious, and then I turn around and realize, oh, God had the answer, and He put the answer back several pages. I just didn't realize it yet. Um, until I got a few pages ahead and it's like, oh, God, you set that up back there. I, I didn't know. Um, we've got a good God that's outside of time. He knows what you're going through tomorrow. He knows what you're going through next week. As a matter of fact, He knows what you're going through the rest of your life each and every day. And knowing that, He also has the answer and the provision for you each and every one of those times. Don't worry about it. He's got you. There are many things to be anxious about in this world. Uh, provision, safety. Oh, especially as first responders. You, you, you know what I'm talking about. We, we begin, we, we, we see a call that's just terrible. It shakes us and we go home and it's like, okay, guys, we're going to have a drill now. This is what we do if there's a fire. We, we're going to have a drill now. This is how we apply a tourniquet. Oh, this is the most important thing. This is what we're going to do if there's a shooter. Hey, th this is very important. This is what we do if there's a traffic accident. And we start just going through all of this, this anxious toil and stress. And Am I saying don't be prepared? No, no, not what I'm saying. I'm saying don't worry about it. Don't be so anxious about it. Because God's looking out after you. And if we make a little mess up, He's the ultimate giver of life. Each one of your days was already numbered. 
That means the finish line has already been planned. Don't stress and worry and be anxious about it. Just each day glorify Him and thank Him for what you've got. Our professions as first responders, easily they can add to our anxiety. Not just based on what might happen, but anxiety of what we've seen and what we've experienced and had to do. Don't let that anxiety build up on you either. Just as much as not worrying about tomorrow, because you can't change tomorrow today, you also can't change what's in the past. All you can do is change what you're looking at today, who you are today, how you're seeking God, how you're allowing Him to change you, how you're pointing others to God, how you're showing love to your family and your friends, how you're enjoying the provisions, the things He's done for you. That's really all you can do. Let the past be the past, and let the future be God's. Take care of yourselves out there. And if you need to talk to somebody to get that anxiety out, talk to somebody. It's not good for a man to be alone. Find somebody you trust that you can talk to. Pastor, friend, co-worker. But find that person that will point you back to the Lord in the end. Take care of yourselves. Be healthy. Be well.